We are in an inventory crisis. Don't believe me? Consider the growing pressure being put on Airbnb. Now, short-term rentals have been disproportionately blamed for the higher housing costs. They do contribute, but they aren't the cause. You can thank the Fed for adding about 50% to the money supply for that. But still, what has happened is affordable housing is disappearing, and especially in your most desirable travel business-related markets, which is making it nearly impossible for service businesses to hire employees. There just simply isn't any housing for those employees to live in those cities. And in response, you have places like British Columbia, who's recently passed a law that takes effect in a few months where Airbnbs will be restricted to people renting out space in their primary residence only. You also have places like Sedona, Arizona, who's taken a different approach in offering up to $10,000 incentives to short-term property owners who will transition their short-term rental to a long-term rental as long as the tenant works within that city for a local business. These are just a few of the many changes which we are seeing as cities try to adapt to mounting pressure caused by these record low inventory numbers and record high prices.